Hey guys, Birdman here. Just want to make a quick video on um, how I remounted my, my Avian 100 electronic speed control on my Fusion 480. Um, so I had to do the firmware update the other day and you know this would be down the second time I had to you know do some maintenance on the speed controller and I always have to take the battery mount off to get to it and then you know the way I have it positioned on the side of the frame makes it really difficult to get to the programming port on there right so I said I, I got to think of a better way to do this so I want to kind of walk you guys through um, kind of some uh, before and after pictures of, of how I have this guy set up so as you can see here in this first picture this is how I, I normally have it I you know had it set up originally um, on the side of the frame there you can see overhead shot there as well to see how it goes and I mean it worked right but if you needed to do some maintenance on it, it was just very difficult to get to and um, again, you gotta take the helicopter apart to get to it. You know, you, you, you're snapping uh, zip ties and all that good stuff. So, didn't want to do that anymore. So, um, as you can see here, you look at the bottom of the, the battery tray, right? You have these screws, these six screws that are, six holes rather. And I believe these are preset for the prior um, speed control that came with the kit. Uh, I think it was the Talon 90, if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, it fit that one. But it doesn't fit the AVN 100, right? So what I decided to do was, you know, put my head together here and think, you know, what can I do to, to get some flat tray on the bottom? And, and I came up with this design here in Fusion 360. That's an application, not the helicopter. And, um, you know, drew up, you know, based off the dimensions of the, the battery tray. And uh, this is what I came up with, right? And so as you can see, I was able to get it, uh, you know, lined up with the screw holes and get it mounted on the bottom of there so now that gave me a flat surface that i was able to mount the avian 100 onto and as you can see i left uh you know i cut some slots in there at the bottom to allow room for the zip ties to easily go through there and hold it down of course i have some double-sided tape on the bottom of the um, speed controller as well but you know after you know mounting the um the battery straps on there and then getting it mounted back onto the helicopter, as you can see here, um, it looked pretty cool, right? I mean, I have it now where the battery lead is coming out the front. The programming port is also at the bottom front as well. So it's just a matter of, you know, um, taking out the, the fan plug and then plugging in the, the programming cord from my um, programming box there. And uh, get the, the engine wires easily mounted right there, kind of, you know, vertically in the back. Um, looks really good. So, you know, was able to mount the battery on there and put the canopy on as well. It fit no problem. But this is going to make it easier access for me to get to it. So I was glad I was able to design this thing. Anybody interested in, in you know, uh, getting one, PM me. I'll gladly uh, print you one out. I'll just charge you a little small fee, you know, ship it to you or whatever. But let me know. I mean, it's pretty cool. It, it looks good. It's slick. Um, and I like it. Thanks.